Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Joe's Pepper House. Today I want to do a review on this Uncle Mongo's. We got his Mango Reaper and we have his Blueberry Scorpion. Take a look. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And this video is long overdue because I had to order me a Johnny's a Johnny Scoville spoon, hot sauce spoon. Supposedly, if you use stainless steel or any other type of spoon, it throws the flavor of the hot sauce off. So here I'd like to show you his spoon. You can visit him at his website. I'll throw the links down below. He did a video, and he said he had 10 of these signed by him, and I was the lucky one to jump on, jump on it and uh, got me a autograph signature of Johnny Scoble. So, let's go ahead and check out the sauce here. All right, Uncle Mongo. I bought these. This guy's from Australia. I already had some really good stuff from, and uh, Bree Rec is the one who introduced me to Uncle Mongo's. Um, also, his links will be down below if you're interested in trying this. Well, this is the Mango Reaper. The heat level is 9 out of 10. And here we have what it says here in the back. Uncle Mongo's OG recipe and a fan favorite. Mango Reaper is a balanced combination of mango, garlic, and tomato alongside with the Carolina Reaper chili. Use it with tacos, chicken, pork, as a dipping sauce or marinade. And I'll let you guys go ahead and read the ingredients. Okay. I think that might be backwards because uh, I'm using my front facing camera. Um, my batteries aren't charged in my DSLR, so. Oh, check this out. Mr. Peter Stanley himself. I bought this from him. Probably bought over a month ago. But anyway, let's go back to this Uncle Mongo's hot sauce. Man, I can't wait to try this. Give it a shake. Give it a smell. Mm, definitely you can smell the peppers in this one. Here, don't you guys take a smell? Smell it? Can you smell that? No, maybe not. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and get my spoon out. Wow. Yeah, let's check the, how she pours. Okay, guys. Here we go. Now remember, I'm not a chili head. I mean, I like spicy stuff. I'll take my Carolina Reapers and my, um, like, scorpions and Thai, fi Thai fire fingers and all that that I grow. I do hydroponics indoors and I transplant them outside. Um, but I can handle them in a powder form. Um, I've tried a half of a, of a um, Trinidad Scorpion. Um, probably won't do that again for a while until I build up my tolerance. So I could say I could probably eat maybe five habaneros from the grocery store or, or my own and tolerate that, that'd be fine. But I can't do a whole like Reaper pot or whatever. So my scale, my heat scale will be a little different. Um, so just to give you guys, you know, where I'm at. So here we go, let's, let's try this. Oh wow, instant heat, whole mouth, instant heat. Wow, good job. Good taste, Mango Reaper. Here's his website, if you guys are interested. If you guys can read that. But it's um, www.unclemangos.com. Oh, I just hiccuped. Whew. Mouth is, oop. Okay, that's pretty freaking warm. Yeah, it's not getting any hotter. It's all in the back of my mouth, like not in my throat, but way in the back of my mouth. Nothing on my tongue, maybe a little bit at my cheeks up here. Mm. Yeah, I still feel the heat in my mouth. 
Um, if you guys can handle habaneros, you will love this stuff. This stuff is really good. Nice flavor. Good job, Uncle Mango. Now, I don't know if it's fair because I still got the heat in my mouth, uh, but this barbecue sauce here, I've been dying to try too. It says blueberry scorpion. God, and it's 10 out of 10, so it's actually hotter than that. But that's a 9 out of 10. But you know what? Let's go ahead and read this one. So blueberry scorpion, heat level 10 out of 10, as I showed you earlier. Uh, hold on, guys. All right, we have stingy scorpion peppers, Australian grown blueberries, citrus and um, and spring onion. A titanic flavor profile with the magic um, with the with the magic burn. It's the one you it's the one you wanted. It's the one you petitioned for. Used with desserts, game meats, duck or pork pretty cool here's the nutritious facts here all right well being it says it's a little bit hotter than that one well by i don't know that's nine out of ten it's ten out of ten let me go ahead and shake it up real quick okay now the burn's starting to go away i can still feel it right in the back of my tongue and that's about it uh, back of my mouth, my cheeks aren't burning no more. Really good. That's some really good stuff. Now, for somebody who's never had a hot sauce, um, anything hotter than say like Red's uh, or Frank's Red Hot or his wing sauce and all that, uh, <clears throat> or let's say I could compare it to say if you had Buffalo Wild Wings, they're blazing. I would put this a step above that. That's where I would put that that Reaper sauce. But let's go ahead and. Take a smell of this blueberry scorpion. Oh my god. Yeah, you could definitely smell it. Oh, jeez. Oh man, I'm gonna tear this bottle. Hey Uncle Mago, I might have to probably get a gallon of this from you. What do you guys take a whiff? You smell that? Look at that. Doesn't this smell wonderful? Oh my god. Alright, guys, here we go. The pour here, nice and thick. Yeah, nice and thick. There we go. There we go. Whew, look at that. Heck yeah. All right. Let's give this a shot. I don't want that to fall. All right, guys. Here we go. Now, as far as the other sauce goes, the Reaper, um, still on my tongue a little bit, but this should fire it right back up, being that it's 10 out of 10. Oh my God. <coughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Mouth back on fire again. Oh, nice. Good flavor, though. Oh, my God. You really pick up the blueberries, man. You really pick that up. Nice, thick sauce. Man, you know what this would be perfect on? Them candy bites I'm doing over there today. Pork candy bites. Made out of pork belly. You know what? I'm going to put some of this on my candy bites today. Yes, sir. This would make for a great glaze. I'll heat it up. Of course, I'm only going to do my portions. Um my uh, uh kids and my wife or my wife might be able to handle this but i don't know but i'm going to tell you right now my whole mouth is on fire right now it is not like oh my god like i need to go grab some water or milk or whatever but it is so flavorful uh to somebody who hasn't like i said before yeah <clears throat> if you can't eat a habanero like one do not touch this stuff just well i mean i would try it if you can eat a habanero uh, you'd be good with this stuff. I, I'm very sure of that. Just start out with small doses. So anyway, all right, guys. Well, thank you, Johnny, uh, from Chase to Heat. I'll put a link down there so you can check out his YouTube channel, or I'll put
put it above here or there, wherever it's going to be at. I think it's going to be here. And uh, it's pretty awesome. I got a signed version. One out of ten. I must have got lucky and uh, ordered right in time. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this spoon. I think it has a close up at the spoon. Very nice. So, I guess if I'm going to do hot sauce review videos, uh, I guess I should have uh, the proper spoon to do it with, right? Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll, we'll catch you next time. Thanks and have a great day. Oh, and also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get future updates on videos. Uh, and like the video if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. Either way, it's fine with me. Main thing, leave a comment below what you thought. Or maybe some things you think I should change in this in my uh, uh, pepper review uh, videos. Uh, but hey, you guys have a great day. I'm going to get back to my barbecue. And we'll catch you next time. Peace out.